This AI agent is actually insane. While most people are still copying and pasting between 10 different subscriptions, GenSpark AI agent handles everything in one place. I'm talking, it makes presentations, generates videos, creates visuals, and even calls your prospects. Today, I'm showing you the seven features that are saving me over 10 hours each week. And I'll give you the exact prompts that you can start using today, even if you never used AI before. So let's dive in. First up is research. Whenever you wanna create a video that actually performs, you need to research what topics your audience is genuinely interested in and not just what you think they want. And honestly, this whole process of trying to figure out the patterns and what's actually working used to be incredibly tedious and time consuming. Here's how I completely streamlined this using GenSpark. First, I'll go to AI Sheets and I want to get a comprehensive analysis of around 15 to 20 top performing videos on the topic, how to grow on YouTube which includes an analysis for each video when it comes to the hook, as well as the content structure, title thumbnails, general tags, and I want the output to be very data-driven and immediately actionable. While GenSpark is searching, I can see exactly what video he's taking a look at, and I can now even see how he's filling in automatically the spreadsheet. It's so funny to see also how he thinks like, oh, I already analyzed six high performing videos and now I just need to add a couple more. So I reach 15 to 20, pretty much like a human. Overall, he managed to add in 13 videos. If I would like to get more, I would need to continue the chat, but that's more than enough for me right now. At the bottom, I can see that I can also fact check each of these rows and also visualize them. Now I want to take a closer look at the data. When I take a look at the spreadsheet, I need to have so much information when it comes to the channel names, view counts, comments, duration. Uh, it's really crazy. Also that I immediately have the hook transcripts uh, that generally takes a lot of time to get these. And what's fantastic is that I immediately have all the title formulas ready, which means that I could just go in and plug in my own concepts into these titles because they're now more generalized. And one of the patterns that immediately seems to stick out is that the how-to framework seems to be quite popular on this subject. So basically what I can do now is sort the spreadsheet based on success probability. And this makes it much easier now for me to dive into each one of these videos and spot these patterns that make videos successful. Like here, for example, I also see that all of these videos here are actually over eight minutes, which means that if you want to talk about something like YouTube growth, probably you have to do at least a 10 minute video with like a deeper dive in order to stick out. So having this data is extremely powerful. Now that I have the research locked down, I need to structure this into a presentation that keeps viewers engaged from start to finish. Here's where AI slides in GenSpark becomes a game changer. I'll go to AI slides. I'll paste in a very detailed prompt that already includes the psychological triggers that I discovered during the research. And I'll ask for a comprehensive presentation on how to build a creative business from scratch with 10 main slides for a 15 minute video. In this step, if I wanted to, I can even incorporate certain brand guidelines and colors so that he exactly knows my style. It's so funny to see that he seems to be very satisfied with himself because of the call to action template. The first thing that I notice when I look at the slides is that it's a very minimalist, clean design, which works great for me. And when I look at the content, why surviving the first year matters more than talent, that's definitely something that hits home and would resonate for sure with me. I see that there's a very smart structure. There are some great value bumps on this slide, like track your 1% improvements. Consistency compounds faster than luck. And in case I want to edit something directly in the slide, I can just click in, like for example, these kind of Chinese signs, I would definitely not like to have them in my slides, so I can just delete them here. I can change the font easily. And if I want to make bigger edits, I can also export this as a PDF or PowerPoint and open it as well in Canva. All right, the next one is where GenSpark really starts to shine. I'm talking about interactive lead magnets that actually work, the kind that turns casual viewers into email subscribers. Instead of creating another PDF that everyone downloads and forgets about, 
you can actually create something that's more personalized and interactive, like a personalized thumbnail strategy generator. Let me show you exactly how this works. I'll paste in a very specific prompt for the YouTube thumbnail strategy generator, which includes five quiz questions. So the content niche, channel size, main goals, challenge, and the video topic. So let's see what GenSpark comes up with. On the first look, the tool already looks very nice. Now let's see if it's working properly. I can select my niche, my channel size. I'd like to generally get more views. And my biggest challenge is to come up with ideas. And my next video topic is about 10 ChatGPT hacks. And now I can see the email capture, which is fantastic. So the first tip is that I should have a systematic approach to generate these concepts, which I definitely agree with. Then I get the tip to create more before and after uh, thumbnails, uh, which generally also work quite well on YouTube. And then my new specific strategy, I should use blue, purple, and glowing elements so that my thumbnail feels a bit more cutting edge. I get some tool recommendations and also a specific prompt, which I could now try out. And the logical next step would be to build an email integration. So in my case, that would be ConvertKit. So I could prompt him to create that for me. And then everyone who signs up with their email address via the tool would immediately show up on my email list, which is fantastic. Use case number four is generating images, which can take a lot of time especially if you want to get the style right. And with ChatGPT, you can always only create one image at a time. And this is where GenSpark increases your productivity like crazy. I want to create multiple images for one of my videos for the chapters in order to structure it better for the viewer. So I'm going to upload a reference image. And the goal is to create nine different images. Each one should include a different word. And the concept should be also visualized. And in general, I also find that the output is better if you include the deliverables, because then it's as clear as it can be. And the output is honestly fantastic. I can see that every time the size of the icon, as well as the writing, is very consistent, same as the style. So this just goes so much faster than if I would open up Canva and copy and paste everything myself. Visuals are only one part of the equation. Now let's dive into B-roll. Because sourcing good quality footage that actually matches your style, that's the struggle. The awesome part about GenSpark is it can actually generate B-roll using whatever video generator you want, which means that you don't need to have separate subscriptions for Google Video 3, Kling AI, Runway, or any of the other ones. You can pick your preferred tool and choose between image to video generation or a simple text to video prompt. Check this out. I'll go to all agents and pick generate video. I can pick the model that I want. In my case, I'll go for Google Video 3. I can adjust the size, the duration, and the prompt will be automatically enhanced. And I need footage of content creator who's checking out YouTube analytics. Now I have B-roll, which actually represents visually what I'm talking about in my video. Next, let's talk about what really sets the mood and that is audio. Have you ever found yourself hunting for the perfect background track? Because I definitely have. Music matters for engagement, but it shouldn't eat up your entire workflow. Here's what I love about GenSpark. It can actually watch your whole video and generate targeted sound effects specifically for your content. I want to get sound effects for my YouTube video, which is about nine AI tools. And I want to highlight the moments of the hook every time when I talk about positive impact and also when I ask a question. And each of these effects should be no longer than three seconds. So GenSpark wants to use 11 labs to generate the sound, which is great. It generates all of them at the same time. And what's happening now is pretty wild because it really watches the footage and checks where each of these sounds actually fits. Now I have the effects and I can just take listen. Now here I have the exact timeline of where each of these sounds should be placed. So for example, here at the end, there should be this sound, which seems to fit for a win. 
what I could do as a next step is I could ask GenSpark to actually merge all of these sound effects into my video file. But in order to succeed with this, you actually have to have the Google Drive integration and you need to provide the shareable link with your raw files. Use case number seven is emails. This used to be a huge bottleneck for me. You think you'll sit down for 10 minutes and write an email, but if you also want to design it nicely, it ends up taking an hour. And GenSpark completely solves this problem. It even has a Gmail integration that is built right in, so everything flows seamlessly. Let me show you how I write an email to my subscribers about my most recent video. First, I want to send the email to myself. The subject line should obviously create urgency, should have a great hook. There should be one call to action button and should be also rather short, under 200 characters. Perfect, so that's already designed and now I can also see that the exclusive bonus is actually very specific to the video, which means that now I can just send it. And when I take a look at my inbox, I see that it actually arrived and let's click watch now. The button works. So you can see just alone this feature is absolutely fantastic. All right, now let's bring this all together. So I'll show you what my content creation workflow actually looks like now that I've got these systems dialed in. I start with research to figure out what's actually working and resonating with my audience. Then I create a structured outline that keeps viewers engaged. Next, I generate all of my visuals and audio elements in batches, build a lead magnet that ties directly into the video topic. And last, I create an email to promote the video to my subscriber list. And here's the beautiful part. The whole system works together seamlessly. Since implementing this approach, I'm easily saving 10 hours each week. And if you wanna try some of these features yourself, I've put together a free GenSpark prompt playbook with all of the prompts that I shared in this video, plus some additional ones that have seriously been a game changer for me. You can grab it using the link in the description below. And if you're curious about what other AI tools can supercharge your content creation process, then definitely check out this video next. I break down my entire toolkit and show you exactly how everything fits together. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you there.